I mean, I really wasn't surprised at all when I found out that Roderick got a lizard. I know a lot of guys on the team have also gotten lizards because Roderick got one, uh, but I, I'm pretty sure he has like the biggest one that can grow up to like five feet long. The first time I brought him out, I put him in the car, and he was fine. He sat down on the floor, you know, no problem. Once he got a taste of real sunlight, he kind of turned into a different animal. Then he just started freaking out. He was just like trying to go all over the place. I put him in my car. He found a way underneath the seat and was trying to stick my hand in there without getting swiped by the tail every single time. Your fall journey awaits only in Minnesota. I really think that the running back position isn't going to skip a beat this year. I think having Roderick Williams back is going to be huge for us. You know, he's a big explosive guy and not too many people in this league want to tackle him. I think it finally uh, hit him across the face when, he's, when he sat in that first team meeting that, whoa, man, this is my senior year and, you know, I, I've got plans that I've got to, I've got to accomplish. This whole offseason, he's trained hard, he's competed. You know, we saw it right away. I mean, his, his commitment to what we were doing in the weight room or on the field, but then you noticed uh, he was more diligent in his questions when it came to what he needed to eat. Once I started working with Roderick, I, I felt I saw huge changes in him. Um, it was a lot about normalizing his eating patterns and making sure that he was eating his three meals a day. And he kind of took that and went with it. Uh, at first, it was, it was really hard um, because, you know, I already don't eat a lot. I mean, I was, I was a bigger person, but I, would, I didn't really eat a lot. I just wasn't eating the right things. Now it's just consistent things, you know, making sure I do go ahead and force myself to add in fruits and, and uh, vegetables sometimes, even if they aren't seasoned. Uh, with Roderick losing weight this past offseason, I think it's really added another dimension to his running style. It's gave him that, that extra step, that explosion, um, you know, that he can get in and out of the hole quick. I don't do a lot of, you know, side to side running, you know, I like to get the play over with, you know, go and hit somebody. I think the younger backs look up to Roderick because of how hard he runs and how much he competes every single day. You know, he brings so much juice to practice and with those younger guys looking up to him, those guys have been running the ball hard as well. He's an energy giver, you know, he's not an energy taker. That's kind of set a, a demeanor, so to speak, for us as a, as a running back group of, hey, let's, you know, let's have fun, let's play with energy, let's play fast, let's be physical. I guess I just learned from everybody that came from before me, like Kirkwood. He used to tell me all the time, like if I go through a play or whatever, if he didn't think it was fast enough, he let me know that I'm going too slow and I need to pick that up. He has the experience factor. Uh, you know, he's been there, done that, so he can tell those younger kids, hey, this is how it's going to be. We know what we're supposed to do or whatever. If we're slacking off a little bit, somebody's going to step up and let them know, like, you know, all right, if you keep on doing this, somebody's going to say something to you and then you're going to get irritated. So you might as well do it right the first time. Kind of the two things that, that Roderick and I can, can communicate off the field on are, are cars and, and his, his pet lizard. Uh, this is Kill. Uh, his real name is Kill Guerra. He's a Savannah monitor and he's about 10 months old. He's about uh, two feet long. You know, I was kind of looking for a dog, but you know, I knew I couldn't get a dog from the house that we were living in. So I said I figured I'd you know, get something that doesn't make a lot of noise, won't damage anything, but probably get about the same size as a dog. Went to the pet store on University. Uh, originally went in there for a bearded dragon. That's the same one uh, Everett has right there. They are basically like, you don't want a bearded dragon, but you know, they don't do much. They just kind of lay around. You know, you want something you know strong and tough, whatever. The baby version of mine is still in here. I wanted to come back and get that one. My girlfriend was not having it. He may be the only guy in college football that actually walks his pet lizard. I have seen him walking it down the sidewalk before with his little leash for it. <laughs> I really would expect nothing less from him. You know, some people smile and then other people, you know, just kind of look like, what is that thing? They always ask me, does it bite? And I let them know, well, he has teeth. When I told Coach Kill about the lizard, you know, he just really kind of, you know, just laughed or whatever when he saw him on the leash. He was like, yeah, that kind of suits you or whatever. He's been calling me Lizard Boy ever since. Watch before you know it, the whole you's gonna wanna get a lizard. 